All right, so I've got Mr. Jordan here. You have become incredibly famous on the internet over the last few days. And I want to, you explain, can you walk me through exactly why you're so famous and what happened to create this? First of all, I don't even know like why people took the time to watch me. <laughs> I mean, I was just doing my own thing. That's why it was know? so unique and so uh, you. You know, I would just remember being there. I mean, once I see a spotlight, like I just snap into this mode and I'm like, I feel like I can do anything. And right. you know, I'm just like, it's Lady Gaga time. So there's this great video that you filmed right here in Vegas over in Summerlin. Yes, and they were, they were doing the you know classic news thing where everybody behind them is cheering. Mm -hmm. But you were a true standout. You uh. just popped right into this. So was it just seeing the camera and you just popped right into yeah, this Yeah, I actually got there before everyone else did. I think that's what started, you know, everyone, like the big crowd. Cause like, uh, you know, I got there with my sister and then, you know, the crowd just started building up and building up until we were just waiting for the camera to go on air. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's my time, it's my time. You know, <laughs> um, I was like, you know what, Brendan? It's time to be fierce. So did you have... <laughs> Very first, I like it. Um, so were there, what were the other options? Any other dances that might have been second, third? Oh, you know what? Like, I was just throwing it out there. Like, I was just thinking yeah. Lady that, Gaga applause. Okay, that is, that is the Madonna dance. Or is that a mix? Is that just you vibing? Or? Yeah, I think that's just like my inner self. Oh, okay, I think that's okay. just me. My soul shining. Okay, so that was not like my step one, step two. Yeah. <laughs> is this is this what it's like in your head? Is this uh, how it, is this like how the sound is? Not exactly. Because it makes you want to dance. Oh, yeah. Like like yeah, I think this is like all you can get from that. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, one of the coolest things about this is that it happened right here in Vegas. So yes. you grew up in Summerlin? Uh, yeah, I think for like some of my life, right? Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did. My mom's laughing. Oh, it's fine. I don't I even remember anything until I was like I five. I lived. I lived in Las Vegas. That's the most important. Part. My parents could have told me anything before five. Like I don't. I don't yeah. know where I was. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> I lived in Las Vegas. That's the most important part. Okay, that's awesome. So, um, I I heard you're a big Disney fan. Oh, correct. Bless, bless. Disneyland. It's like my hometown. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I actually just went there recently for like three days, so like the first time. Yeah, it was yeah. just like, I was in like game mode. I'm like, okay, we gotta do this ride, we gotta do this ride. I was like downloading all these apps. Oh, you, okay, so you planned out every ride you were gonna go to in order? Well, I just looked at the one shortest line time, and I'm like, okay, this, let's go. And then my dad was like done by the time. I mean, he had to stop a couple times. He's like, okay, Brendan, let's stop. It's getting a little too much. And my mom was just sitting down the whole time. I was like, okay, well, I'm what going, your, I'm going. Is your sister loving it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You Me took into sister. account the ride she wanted to go on to? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah we all planned it. Tower of yeah. Terror, Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Top two. <laughs> Tower, oh yeah, Tower of Terror, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's what's the, it's, what's the, where all those little dolls are singing at you? It's a small world, like we didn't one? go on that one. Actually the last time okay. I went to Disneyland earlier this year for my eighth grade trip, so yeah, I went twice. Okay. It broke, the audio broke, so we had to sit there for about, well, we didn't. The boat kept moving, but just the audio was off, and so you could oh, hear the, you could hear the clicking of <laughs> these little robot things, and they're all like, or just like just like this over and over again, and you're like, uh -uh. and she got so scared she couldn't even look. Like she was just crouching in this boat. I'm like, girl, what you doing? Sit up. They're gonna take us out. We didn't even talk about it. That's the funniest joke I heard for a while. That's good. I'm like you serious. were just they were just clamp they were yeah, just they're I can imagine. You can it. hear yeah. the clicking. I'm like, okay, this is Disneyland. She's just like, crying, scary in the boat. Do yeah. I get a free ticket? Like, are they this isn't supposed to be terrifying for uh, some people. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to introduce you to our mascot. We've got um, uh, a llama. We call it llama E. It's the name of our llama. Oh my oh. Hey, Peru, right? Yeah, llama? yeah. Oh, good. Right. Yeah. My family's Peruvian. Perfect, because it turns out that she only speaks Spanish. So I heard you're bilingual. Kinda. Okay. That makes sense. I can understand it way more than I can speak it, but I can, you know, okay. I, I get a good grasp. If that makes okay. Sense. So I was wondering if you could tell a story to our uh, mascot about Disneyland in Spanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Te gustas Disneyland? Uh, she only knows C. Oh, okay. uh, but, but she understands everything. We the just Spanish don't know how to. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, uh, oh, no. Oh. Are you okay? okay? Uh, we'll come back to her in a little bit. Okay. That'll, 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 that'll We're be good. We're just going to leave her down there. Okay. 
coming out of the closet. <laughs> it's like back in your head. It's good. One. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. So before we, we're going to get you dancing in a second, but I have one well, last topic is um, you're using a lot of this in instant fame that came to you to bring attention to the LGBT community? Yes. LGBT youth. Okay. Tell me about what motivated that and what you're hoping to accomplish. Well, like before all of this, like, you know, I knew I wanted to do something one day. Like I'd always just tell my parents, I'm like, you know what? You know, one day I just want people feeling about me the way that I feel about Lady Gaga. You oh. know, I want to be an inspiration to others, you know. And yeah. I think the message that I want to get out there is that, like, it's okay to be yourself, you know. Um, it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to dress the way that you want to dress. Like, if you're comfortable in it, then strut, honey. <laughs> you better strut. Uh huh. <laughs> Amen. A to the men. You know what? Because look at what I'm wearing now. Like, what teeny, what? For 15 year old boy, where's this? I mean, well, others might. Best one on the stage, yeah. Doing yeah. great. But you know, I just, uh, I think it's just really important for people to love themselves. And because I'm the only open, you know, like, like gay, like at my escuela, you know? <laughs> and, uh, but you know what? I just think it's very important to love yourself, treat others with respect, and just act who you want to act as long as you're not causing any harm. Right. You know, I do what you want to do yeah, with your life. Totally it's your life. I agree. I agree. Um, so do you have a story? Has anybody come up to you who, who has been inspired by you? Do you have a message that somebody's actually been affected so far? I know it's pretty brand new, but yeah, I, mean, I think it's I think it's a little too early for that. But I think, you know, I just get a lot of I go through my Twitter a lot. Um, you know, people are just like, you know, you're such an inspiration. And that just like warms yeah. my heart. Because really that's are. just yeah. all I want to do for people. Like, I just want my message to be heard like I just wanted to be heard and you know I'm just utilizing this time I have now of fame um, just you know to people to hear what I want to say and one of them is you know LGBT youth and you know just the people who are struggling with coming out I mean I've been open since uh, March early this year and it's been great like once I just come out like I just you know you feel free you feel like you can do anything like I am just so comfortable with talking to people because before that, I would talk to them and like, hey man, what's up? <laughs> right, Bro, you can't be yourself. You know, whatever that was, I'm like, hey girl, oh, what's this, up? This is a At fist, school now. A fist bump? Is that fist bump? I think, I don't even know, like they'd fist bump me like, and then like, they'd like do all this. I'm like, okay, whoa, where did this come from? Like, where are you getting this? Like, is this something all straight men are supposed to know? I mean. Okay, so what would your message be for someone who is scared to come out at this point? Like, what do you want to say? I to think, them? like, it's it's scary before because, like, before I came out, I think I was really scared. Like, even in front of my parents, and yeah. I knew my parents were accepting of it. I was just scared. I don't scared. know why. Like, yeah. that's just something, like, no one really understands. Like, that's more personal. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think that once you come out, you just feel something. Like, you feel a lot better about yourself and your self-image. And you know, like, you just, you feel better. Yeah, well, you should you feel, feel free. You should feel great about yourself. I mean, you just got tweeted from Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga, which is obviously your idol. Yes. Um, so tell me, um, just walk me through inside your head what it was like when you first received a tweet from her and you realized you were you know, taking notice of Yeah, it's just like so much stuff has been happening this week to me. Like, I probably had, like, interviews day after day. And, you know, not <laughs> all of this that. has been, like, processed in my mind. Like, I think, like, when I'm, right. like, laying in bed, I think that's, like, you know, the time where I'm like, whoa, what? You know, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on today? And, you know, when Lady Gaga tweeted me, like, a I, can't, I don't have service in class, so a bunch of people were texting me, sending screenshots. I, I was like about to cry in the middle of taking a test. I'm like hyperventilating my seat. Everyone's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? You know, I'm just like, oh, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga. Oh, you just saw a screenshot. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, that was like, you know, I think that if that just happened out of the blue and none of all this was happening, I might have had like a, you know, crazier reaction. But I, I felt like I knew it was going to happen in a way. If that makes sense, and like. Oh, you summoned it from the universe. No, no. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> oh. I don't know. But uh, you just, you just know. I just, you know, yeah, I can like feel if that makes sense. You know, I just like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just weird. You know, like she noticed me. She took the time out of her day. You know, that just like makes me right. You so changed much her life in some way. What's that? 
<laughs> oh, my <laughs> signal is out of cue for something. That's what's just. Did you make that happen? I didn't. I don't know where that came from. I don't okay. Know. It's like the that's the song that. <laughs> Okay, so we system. know we know we know you're the best dancer in Summerlin, but we have somebody from downtown Las Vegas who we think could give you a, a run for the money, a challenge, maybe if you wanted to accept it. Sure. Okay, you guys want to see a challenge? We've got. All right, so first I want to bring out Trey. He is our. This is our downtown representative. We went through a series of intense dancing events, and he won. So just assume that. And then, of course, Mr. Jordan, best guy in Summerlin. So. I'm going to leave it to you, but uh, let's find out who's best.